you know what I'm saying, for the, uh, for the, you know, just for the time being, for the COVID shit, man. Yeah, you know? man, that's love, man. Hey, man, hey, it's your boy, man, Enrex Show Guapo, man, Street Certified Podcast. Hey, I'm with my nigga Trigger. Hey, man, it's your boy Trigger Nometry, man, Street Certified Podcast, man. We got this thing going, episode Trey, you know, Center for Yeah, this 25, G. Hey, this, hey, this, yeah, hey, this, hey, this the trade piece though. Hey, this, this, you know what I'm saying? Trigger, this the trigger trade piece. You know what I'm saying? Episode 25, man. You know what I'm saying? It's you crazy, see, hey, we, I did a little something different with the, you know what I'm saying, with the background, man. Made it I more like personal, that. man. More relaxed. I like shit, that. Man. I like that. It's different. I like that. Yeah, I'm rocking man, with you know, it. I'm rocking with it. Yeah, man, you know, relax shit, man. You know, we players, man. We doing player shit, man. But hey, man, it's the podcast, man. Hey. A lot of shit, man. Hey, last I was man. watching the podcast the other day. Y'all like, gee, it's a lot of topics, my nigga. <laughs> a lot of topics, my nigga. Shit. It's a lot of shit to talk about. What's especially what's going on in our United States. Shout yeah. out to Trump too, man. Shout out yeah. to Trump, man. You, you said shout out to Trump. You a, you a motherfucking Trump. Just shout out to Trump. You a motherfucker. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that nigga, hey, man, that nigga told the people to run up on the Capitol, G, they did Bro, so subliminally, he just he told, told them to them, do like, it. We not leaving here. And they did Without it. justice. He said without, ju man, oh my God, man. Hey, that shit was wild, though. I ain't gonna lie, bro, that shit was wild. So, you know, you saw the reports, the lady got shot. Um, Man, hey, you want to something funny? Let me can ask you a question. What's up? Where you begin? When you say about the woman that got shot, so was it a a Democrat Republican? Was it somebody in office, or was that? No, nah, no, nah, it was a Trump supporter, somebody that was trying to break mm -hmm. break past. So they got into the building, and then they the police was like, "Look, you could come in the building, but you can't come past this part of the building. You can't go over there on that side of the building." So the lady tried to go over there. They shot her ass. Damn, killed her. Killed her. She dead, bro. I heard it was four, it was four kids, four deaths. Four people died, but that was like the only one that's been like highly publicized or reported. It was inside the fucking Capitol building. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about the other three deaths. You you know how you know how the government is, man. They could have whacked the nigga in this fucking hotel room and be like one of the four deaths. The nigga, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what's going on. Yeah. But nah, right. this is the crazy thing. So of course, man, you know, just during the course, motherfucker being me and shit, being up, watching TV, I see like, oh shit, motherfuckers running up on the Capitol. So I turn to the news, right? <laughs> G, I turned to the news, man. So I'm sitting there watching. I'm watching the senators. They talking and shit. The people was outside marching. Bro, all of a sudden you hear like, ba ba ba, And then you see like the dudes is like, they start banging the gavel. Like, all right, man, we going in the reason. Motherfuckers ran up out of there, G, quick as fuck. So I posted the shit, bro. I was telling my, bro, this is before anybody said anything about a lady getting shot or anything, bro. I feel like I, I, I watched the video of them talking in a different room and hearing the shots and then like dipping out. You know what I'm saying? Like people ain't yeah. believe me, bro. Bro, we posted the shit so early to Street Certified, man. Hey, shout out, man. Street Certified News, man. Follow us at Street Certified News on Instagram. Follow us at Street Certified News everywhere. Um, everywhere. Trig, bro. Somebody had asked me like, man, you know, I'll watch your podcast. How do I follow it? Street Certified News. That's all you got to do. Just, all you Hey, literally, go to Google, Street Certified News, bam, 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 bam. It all pops straight up. Yeah, it all pops straight up. It all. But I feel like, bro, we posted, like, we broke the story of a shooting in Capitol Hill before people even knew it was a shooting in Capitol Hill, bro. I was already saying I heard niggas shooting in Capitol Hill, bro. Like, the shit was kind of wild, man. But, That's yeah, bro, crazy. this shit crazy, man. So, so this, hey, this is my question, bro. And this, um... You know what I'm saying? Fuck it, Ram, and we just get it started with this, man. I ain't even know we was going to get it started with this, bro. We had, you know, we had, like, a whole other list of shit to talk about and shit, man. And then this shit just fucking took over the world. You know, that's, you know, it's some it's some major, but it's not major at the same time to us. Because, you know, it ain't really too much affecting the black community. Because, you know, what would have happened, right, if that was us out there, right? Oh, yeah, bro, you know. But, I mean, I, I, I you know, my brother. What, Hey, I was talking to my brother. And I told my brother, he was like, you know what that happened to us? I said, we wouldn't even got that far. Fact. I said, we wouldn't even got it. We wouldn't even. I said, if they knew we was coming to protest there, it would have been more police than us already there waiting for us. We would not have even got close to the gate. Am I lying? Hey, some people said during the Black Lives Matter protests, when they was marching, it was like hundreds of armed police 
protecting the capital. So like they was on some shit during the during the Black Lives Matter shit. They was basically saying y'all could march, y'all could protest, y'all could be mad over here. there. Y'all cannot y'all come over here, here and do that shit. Y'all ain't getting in here. Hey, but I mean, you know, man, I like so earlier today, GI had posted me. I'm like, man, we like a thousand motherfuckers. Like, I uh, imagine like a thousand niggas need to just run up on Capitol Hill today and just see what happened. Cause on some real shit, if they kill us, bro, it make the government look so bad. Like we'll low key be sacrificing ourselves for a greater motherfucking like story, a greater good, but it'll literally show the exact world, like exact fucking facts about racism in America. Like 500 white people storm, armed, fighting, get into the building, busting through windows, three, four motherfuckers get shot. You know what I'm saying now, let's say if a thousand niggas do the same thing the next day, how many niggas gonna get shot? And that a show it's almost crazy, bro. Like on, on some real shit, my nigga. Hey, on some real shit, bro. Like, I, I don't want to incite no crazy ass type of violence. I'm not in the inciting violence. I don't want nobody to think I'm inciting violence. It's just a fact. It's, it's just, just a fact. fact. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. But I welcome men, like on some real shit. I welcome men. It depends on the type of men you are and shit. But I welcome men who want to hit the DMs, man. Street Certified News on Instagram. Let's take a thousand niggas to the Capitol. And let's just see what happens. On some real shit. And it'll make a motherfucking point. Because either y'all hey. gonna treat us like them or y'all gonna treat us like how y'all wanna treat us. And if y'all treat us like how y'all wanna treat us, we caught you, nigga. We caught you. You for racist what? government. You racist yeah. establishment of America. For what? But we caught you. What? There's nothing you can tell change. Nothing what you can say. Change? What would it huh? change? Um, I think I think it will. I mean, more... it show no, no. I mean, I mean, it exposed a lot. Yeah. But what would it like in my reality? Me thinking about it, it yeah, it'd be great. It's awesome. I'm down for it. But when we do it, and when it goes to that, what 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 after? What 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 is gonna change? Like what 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 would it, it would just show something we already know? You know what I'm right. saying? Right. In reality, it's like, but what will we be changing after that? And something may change. But I'm trying to think about what would change. You know what I'm saying? What I would think, be? I think. I think this would come so, from. So check this out. Check this out, bro. Nothing gonna change from the the from political standpoint. Well, I mean, nothing gonna change from your enemy who know he your enemy. But it's a lot of black people, bro, that don't really believe what I'm saying. Like they don't believe that. Okay, you know, Black Lives Matter and George Floyd, and yeah, we don't want police killing black people, but they don't believe that all, like, a uh, overgeneralization, like, damn near 80, 90% of a certain public population that control the fucking world, white, white Americans, they don't believe that them motherfuckers secretly hate us. White they call it white supremacy. It's white supremacy. They don't believe that that shit is actively being taken place, that it's actively being interwoven and weaving into any little place it could go. And motherfuckers gonna do it forever unless we just, unless we can identify the enemy and say, you know what? These niggas gonna always be the ops. No matter what they say, no matter how much they smile, they gonna always, I feel like it'll strengthen the black community. I feel yeah, that's something. That's one thing we can get out of you, right? I feel like it would strengthen the black community. It would show all black people that is the common denominator, right? So you don't think you don't think what we've been going through recently, the past couple of years, with all these, with all this shit? Yeah, you know, no, it's been helping. You don't think it's that, been, that, that hell was, yeah that that hell helps strengthen us? It, it I think that helps strengthen us too, though. It's been helping. It helps us somehow strengthen us too, right? But I think statements like this and. Um, I go back to thinking about like Martin Luther King Jr. and the, and the civil rights leaders when they was doing like a uh, uh, bus, I mean not bus, but like the restaurant sit-ins and the bus boycotts and walking across bridges and basically they was going places that the white po people told them y'all ain't allowed here. And they was like, well, I'm an American, so I could go anywhere you could go. And they had just yeah. walk in that motherfucker. Now, look, yeah. nigga could beat their head in and kill a motherfucker, taking a jail, all the same shit that could happen to us for walk for running up in that capital, walking up in that. I want to walk in that motherfucker, send it flow with a motherfucker, black, red, and green flag. Cause I got some hey, shit to say. When, you're right. 
And I, and I want to be able to walk out. I want to be able to walk in and walk right back out like the motherfuckers did, bro. Hey, all the motherfuckers ain't walk out, son. But I'm saying 90% no, of them no, did. No, no, a lot no, of motherfuckers no, walked no, out, bro. A lot of them did. I'm just saying, though. A couple of motherfuckers did get their shit pushed back. Hey, but you I mean, that's a hey, that come with the game. And, you know, I'm that's why I said it's that, a certain type of nigga to do this shit. To prove that point. To prove that point. Hey, to show, like, you know what's so either, crazy? What's no, up? wait. You know what's so crazy? That what you mentioning right now, if it were to happen, if something like that were to happen, it should happen next weekend on MLK birthday weekend. That is wow. true. Martin Luther King birthday coming up. That And if you march a thousand black people on the White House lawn on Martin Luther King birthday, let something happen on that day. Wow. Hey, man, bro. Like I said, man, hit the DM. I'm dead ass serious about it, man. And, and 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 you know I, I go down there next weekend with you. We, I used to I be out in DC, man. So I know, I you know what I'm saying. I know I the land. Get yeah, us an Airbnb. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sit up. You know we get a little when we go up and uh, walk down there. You know yeah, saying? man. And my thing is this, man. Like I don't, you know, I, don't, I ain't the type of person to fear death and fear. I ain't a fear person. I know I I'm a a carry, I know I'm gonna carry myself in a way in which I'm not gonna put myself in danger of death. Now, I might put myself in other dangers, but I'm not going to get myself killed. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I ain't really you. worried about me. I'm not worried about that. Yeah. yeah. That's but what I'm yeah. saying is, man, man, we got a right to do that shit too, man. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Motherfuckers been getting fucked up for a long time, and we ain't never said, you know what, man, we finna storm this bitch. Yo, these motherfuckers did this shit over an election, bro. Over, over, over the worst shit. president of Over all the worst time. president of all time. These motherfuckers stormed wow. the damn Capitol, bro. And so think of all of the real legit reasons we got to storm the Capitol and we ain't never did that shit. Like, man, nigga, nigga, I'm signing up, man. I'm saying, nigga, when is we doing this shit, man? Nigga, we, yeah. this shit, we done already prepaid for it. We done already prepaid for it, dude. Like, we That's done already crazy, went through bro. all the bullshit to do it. We just ain't did a shit. Oh, you, you hit it right on the head, though. You right. For everything that we went through, for everything that MLK went through, for everything that Malcolm X went through, for everything that all these civil rights um, activists stood for in our country, for us not to be the first people to storm that motherfucker oh, is amazing. Goofy, bro. To me, nigga, we and look weak. also for it to be stormed for somebody like Trump, that's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. Yeah, that, bro. That really doesn't make that really shows, though. That gives that, and I give. I'm never knocking. I give that part to them. Yeah. They ride or die. They riding. They got the because, and you know the reason why they really doing that, bro. They know they got white privilege, bro. They know they get. Think it. about it. Why they know they get it. We, I got white privilege. I can. We can go do this. Hell Y'all yeah. want to go up there and do this? Let's go do it. We. Man. They ain't gonna do shit to us. Hey, that shit is wild, bro. Hey, that shit wild. So, so I just think I just think it's crazy that we haven't done it. And so I said something about it. You know, a lot of motherfuckers felt a certain type of way. Like I said, it's on it's on the Instagram and all that shit. But a lot of motherfuckers felt a certain type of way. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm for for whatever reason, man. That's how I feel about it. I just feel like you know, I don't know, bro. Hey, you ever been somewhere? I got a question. Hey, so check this out. You ever been somewhere like? I don't even want to say it, but like you ever been in one of them situations where shit is just blatantly happening and you ain't really down with it, but it's like the mm. shit just happening. Like, and you just, you like, oh, I might as oh, well do oh, that shit oh, too. Let me, keep it, let me keep it a buck with you. Cause let me keep it a buck with you. Because when we was going through that, that shit here, we was <laughs> right and shit. I was with that shit, but I was like, shit. I ain't saying nothing right See, now. I, got, I called a couple niggas know, like, man, what you got, bro? Let me purchase something with my real money that I, hey, to, that like, I, that I, I work for. You know what I'm saying? When it's going down right now, I mean, <laughs> I ain't saying nothing right now. Hey, but, but, you know what I mean. <laughs> man, a lot of motherfuckers feel like that's a white on white shit. Ain't nothing to think yeah. about. But I just feel like, you know, they really showing us our rights as, as as citizens, we got the same sure. rights they got, bro. On paper, yes, we got the same rights they got. And if they don't give them to us, then they're blatantly showing not that the police is racist, 
Not that white people that live in the suburbs is racist, nigga, that the government, the motherfuckers who make the laws that control, control and everything. everything, they racist too. And we could we could prove it by a thousand motherfuckers running up on the Capitol and seeing the difference. Just show the difference. Look, look, nigga, a week later, the same thing happened. Look at the difference. Or they gonna have to eat that shit. And if they well, eat they that shit, eat. that's gonna feel better. You never know. They might stand down and let us walk up in that motherfucker. That shit will feel real good. You know what I'm saying? Because they true. don't want to look bad. You know, they'll do that shit. They would. They, they'll that, stand down be, and say, all right, you be, niggas won this time. That'll be a smart tactic. That'll be smart. But it'll also be a win for us and say, yes, I'll walk in with my American flag, man, and my, and my African, my black flag. You know what I'm saying? I walk in with both of them because I represent both of them. And on some real shit, as long as you give me the rights to do what they do, I'll rock that American flag. But if you're not giving me them rights, I can't fuck with you. You see what I'm saying? And I know That's the true. difference. And I know the difference. Hey, question, quick question. What do you think about um what Trump's saying about, you know, uh, falsely um, the electoral vote? You know, he don't feel like, you know, it was counted correctly. Feel like, um, you know, the votes wasn't right, that he was gypped. You know what I'm saying? Out of electoral votes and all me. that. Bro, that nigga loves, bro. Don't nobody like that nigga, man. Bro, he lost by 7 million votes. <laughs> man, G, hey, happy new year, my nigga. It's 2020 fucking one, bro. What a way to start 2021, man. Happy, happy nigga new year trying to, to take over the man. government, man. What the fuck? Yeah. Damn, hey, we thought, we thought this COVID shit was worse last year. Hey, yeah, I was going to say, hey, niggas thought 2020 was crazy, nigga. We started 2021 off like... <laughs> <laughs> Say what'd you do for New Year's, bro? Did you do anything like special? Oh man, I just uh chilled back, man. Uh, went out far out the suburbs and uh, had a couple drinks, man. Chilled with a couple people and uh got wasted, did some edibles. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Um, that shit settled in and it caught me off guard. But shit, I think I bought the New Year in the right way. You know? Hell yeah. You know, hey, you know a nigga like me. You know, you know. Come on. I was gonna say I feel like I called you the next day. G, you ain't wake up till like two o'clock in the afternoon or something like that. Why the hell you act like you know me so well? God damn. <laughs> Shit. For real, now I called you and you ain't answer, and then you called me back like, man, bro, I was fucked up. Like, oh yeah, you sure did, bro. Hell yes, yeah. Bro. Yeah, hey, what what you, how you, you doing yours? Christmas? I don't even think. See, like we ain't did no episodes since even Christmas. Like, shit, what you do for Christmas? Shit. Oh, Christmas, man. Uh, you know my son here, man. You know, just chill. Oh out, yeah, man. man. It's good uh, family time and shit. Bro. Yeah. Uh, uh, took him, got him some little things. You know, ran around. A the day before Christmas, or the day two days before Christmas, shopping and going crazy and getting shit out the way for the children, man. You know what I'm saying? I know I, I see your Christmas tree, man. So, you know, I know y'all had a good Christmas. Don't yeah, come man. That way, you know, yeah, so. man. Shout out my baby, man. You know, she laced me. You know what I'm saying? You know, I yeah. saw where that, where that watch at, man. Where that watch at? Man? Oh, you know, yeah. I ain't got it on. I should have, damn, I should have had that motherfucker. Had the watch, yo. What y'all do for New Year's? Y'all just sat back, okay, to cater out? Yeah, cook? G. Nah, man, my girl, bro, she motherfucker cooked the feast. I'm talking about a feast, my nigga. Fried lobster tails, bro. Motherfucking what? garlic butter shrimp. I'm talking about nigga, a fucking pool of butter and garlic, nigga, with the shrimp just swimming. Nigga, steaks, nigga, all type, nigga, Parmesan garlic bread, all type of shit. G. So I ate good. Oh, nigga. nigga, I ate so hey, good. Hey, y'all see, see, see how you get down. So the day after that, I he didn't invite me over. You know what I'm saying to get the leftovers. That's 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 that. Hey, see, we was playing. Shit. Hey, I think we was playing the game or something, man. That's that greedy nigga shit. Nah, you see I think that? we was playing the game, bro. That's what Tasting we was doing. Fucking shrimp and buttered oil all the way. Motherfucking <laughs> garlic and swimming and shit. Man, free this nigga Rollo, man. Um, story is. His lawyer, after over a year sitting in jail on this uh, federal whatever case they're trying to give him, um, he was about to get a bond. Or he had got a bond, and he was putting the money together. He was finna bond out. So I guess before he bond out, they do their little investigation to make sure he been a good prisoner while he been in the jail. Mm -hmm. So they listen to his phone conversations, because I guess if people don't know, every time you on the jail phone, they recording that shit. They listen to the nigga phone conversations. The nigga been selling drugs on the phone. That's what they say. I see, Yeah, I heard about that. I seen selling the yep. shit in cold, all this crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? So they done revoked the nigga bond. Rollo yeah. still locked up. He ain't gonna come home, man. Free that nigga Rollo, man. Free Rollo, man. man free hey, Rollo, man.
Damn, Raleezy. <laughs> gotta be a little. Hey, man. I oh, yeah, I heard, I heard he was, like, talking to his um baby mama, like, trying to, like, encode and shit. Yeah, exactly, bro. Yeah. I, I, I just hope it's not yeah. true, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I hope that nigga could be exonerated from all that shit, man, because, you know, he been locked up for a minute, and, you know, the nigga been claiming his innocence, so. How long, how long you been locked up? Price is like 2017, 2018. It's been a minute, bro. His nigga been what like was locked up. You, what was you locked up for? So originally what happened for people don't know, um, you know, he had, you know, Rallo had, you know, he went on Vlad. He was one of them rappers who, you know, seemed like he had a lot of money, he went on Vlad TV, said, you know, he sold drugs and made millions of dollars and did all of that shit. The nigga had bought a whole apartment complex. All his homies lived in it. Like, think about like, Think about like the uh, uh, old block, like Parkway Gardens, like a, a apartment complex with a gate around it. Bro, the nigga bought it. And him and all his niggas just lived inside that bitch, bro. That shit sound raw as hell. Like niggas hey, just yeah. lived what, in that what, Where he from? Atlanta. He did that in Atlanta. Yeah, he did. They, they called it Love Pakistan. You know what I'm saying? These niggas literally bought like a five apartment. It was like five buildings of apartments. And it had a fucking fence around it with a sign. Like, it looked like a real gated apartment building. This nigga bought it all. And him and all his homies lived in it. It was like fucking uh, uh, Corvettes and Chargers all in the parking lot. When you pull in the gate and shit, the shit was love. It was raw. That's you know crazy. Saying? Yeah, the nigga was doing wow. shows. He was doing a lot of shit, man. So, you know, all of that shit got the people investigating him. Mm. Um, it got the people looking into what he was on and shit, man. Because, you know, they make sense. Yeah, I mean, especially to be honest, the 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 buying the land and buying the buildings and letting all your friends live there, bro. That was the, that's what they really don't like. like yeah, hold on, yeah. Who wanna? Yeah, I don't want no rappers, no black motherfuckers owning no property and land, and actually can, if he really wanted to, take his guys out of it and move more black people inside of it and have an actual motherfucking community you know and shit. Yeah, I never knew that, bro. I just know he was locked up. I didn't know really what for or what happened, but for him to do that for his guys, man, and you know what I'm saying, to be really, he was really eating. If he got private jets flying back and forth, five hundred pounds of the loud, streets, man, nigga was five hundred thousand in cash. Bought an apartment you, complex, man. nigga. Hey, man, it's the Street Certified Podcast, episode twenty five, man. This is the three peat with my nigga Trigger in the motherfucking building, man. We gonna be here. Hey, you know the Lakers. You know the Lakers had a three peat. You know the Bulls had two three peat. We gonna be here, man. We gonna have a four peat, man. All that shit, man. But hey, man, it ain't never stopping now. Nah. Follow us at Street Certified News. Follow my nigga Trigger, man. Trigonometry, man. One hundred. Trigonometry one hundred on Instagram, man. Follow the uh, Chicago underscore LFBG page as well, man. Yeah, so, man. Live forever, you know gang, man. man. Man, you know I'm rocking, man. Man, we certified news, man. We it ain't stopping, man. We finna move. Hey, from here on forward, 2021 is our year, and I hope everybody that watches rock with us, man. We love all y'all, man. No cap, man. Seriously. Yeah. So, hey, bro, on this podcast, man, I don't think I ever spoke about another podcast. So this will be a first, like this next topic, bro. Um. I was watching a drink champs, man. Shout out the nigga Nori and uh, EFN. I was watching drink champs. Um. And that nigga for real. You did you see the Pharrell drink chance? He was on uh maybe a couple weeks ago or something like that. I didn't get to see that. So basically, the nigga gave a great, it was a great podcast, great interview and shit. But like maybe like halfway through it, he was talking about um going to Louisiana to meet up with Lil Wayne and how Lil Wayne took him to like the most gangster clubs he ever been in. He could tell nigga it was guns everywhere, like. He said it, it gave it, it inspired him to make music. They went to the studio in the middle of the night, and then you know he he felt the vibe kind of switched at the studio, and he said he low key had to inform niggas that like, hey, if anything happened, I'm gonna tell on y'all niggas. So like, let's keep this shit smooth. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. Yeah, bro, that shit was crazy. So I mean, the internet, of course, you know what I'm saying, went nuts. You know what I'm saying? We posted on Street Certified and shit. But um, I just thought that shit was funny, man. Like, I salute, bro. So I just wanted to put that out there. I salute, bro. Because um, at the end of the day, if you're not a street nigga, don't even play with it. You see what I'm saying? Just be honest. And, my, man, it, nigga, it ain't even a pass, bro. It's life. Nigga, you as a citizen, bro. Live your life. Be free. You, you could, hey, if something happens, you call the police. You see what I'm saying? But it's yeah, you, I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, you're not. If you're not about it, you're not with it. You can't fuck with it. You can't do nothing in it. 
you know what I'm saying? That you ain't with it, you ain't you ain't got no hands, you ain't got no gun, you know what I'm saying? Man, so you you, 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 you out, yo, you out of it, man. It's all good, man. And like I said, it's not even a pass, it's like respect. I respect your decision as a person to live your life. So I leave you over there. You see what I'm saying? Now it's the niggas that be claiming that other side, and then when some shit happen, then they want to try to use the what about now nah, niggas two different, two different sides. You see what I'm saying? So you, you I, was on this side, you can't, yeah, you, you was on that side. So I, so I switch salute, sides, right? So I salute for real for um showing his side, and basically he was telling the story. So he not just saying this now. He's saying like, look, I, this is some shit that happened and I just was, that's who I always been. You know what I'm saying? So he basically like, like, look, I'm, I'm a real ass motherfucker and I always let motherfuckers know I make music. That's my role in this whole thing is to make music. My role is not to keep it a hundred, is not to hold the blicky, is not the hell not. If y'all doing any of that, get me the fuck from away from here before I tell on everybody. <laughs> 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 that's basically what he said though. He like, hey. look, I don't want no parts of it. I'm not about this fucking life. Hell yeah, man. I'm going over here. That nigga for that shit, bro. I'm, I'm tricking on you, motherfucker. You know? I salute. I feel like, man, motherfuckers, hopefully it encouraged more rappers to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Just be real. Just be yeah. real. That's the, that's the point of it at the end of the day, like you said. Just be honest with yourself and be real about who you are, man. Yeah, you know, it's a lot for of shit. clout that come with that street shit, man. And I think, you know, for for niggas who be seeking attention, a lot of niggas made millions off that cloud. They trying to they trying to figure out how to get the attention however they can. So if I got a fake be a street nigga to to get popular, I'll do that. <laughs> AG man, what's up with this COVID vaccine, bro? Man, I heard my fucking shit was like. <laughs> I heard my fuckers' jaws was trying to fall off and shit, bro. I'm like, damn, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, you gonna take Shorty, your COVID Shorty, vaccine? She dropped the mask and she was just like, that shit gave us something. I forgot what she said it gave her, bro, but I was like, wow. <laughs> Are your like, bills palsy and shit? Yeah, yeah. yeah bills and then palsy. you heard about the, the new strain of, of COVID in the UK, right? Yeah, they said it's in Colorado now. It's like suit to suit. Yeah, one Colorado dude had got tested. It's more now? I didn't know. I, I I heard about the one dude. I heard about the one dude. They got. They called. They they found him. They they got his ass isolated. Shit. They got his ass. <laughs> Super cool. Hey, so you gonna take your COVID vaccine, bro? Oh man, the only vaccine I need is a motherfucking uh, uh, uh a couple here, a couple of Remy. Yeah. He said that shit gonna kill everything inside your oh, body. Man, dude. shit. That, is, that shit <laughs> gonna kill you and everything feel, <laughs> inside you, nigga. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna do me. I I don't want no vaccine inside me, shit. Hey, real shit though, G. Liquor is poison, bro. That shit'll kill everything inside you, G. It ain't gonna okay. nothing gonna live. <laughs> but, hey, you ever noticed that nigga? Alcoholic niggas don't never get sick. They don't have no diseases, bro. Cause bro, the I liquor is their disease, nigga. That shit kill everything, bro. Hey, you ain't lying, bro. Them that niggas, shit hey, crazy. them niggas live forever. They be skinny with bad teeth, but they just that liquor just <laughs> keep them alive, bro. It's just. <laughs> Man, hey, R.I.P. Andre Hill, man. Did you hear about this dude? Who was that? Andre Hill. So, man, let's go get the story, man. But basically, G, it was like a nigga was in his garage. Um, Bro, nobody been talking about this shit that's been happening, bro. This shit is wild. Friends told police he was just dropping off Christmas money when he was shot. So basically, the nigga was like in his own garage. I'm trying to see, like, why did they call the police? Wow. He told a, a woman, tell the police he was there to bring Christmas money. I don't even know why they came, but basically, the police pulled up on a nigga in the garage that he was allowed to be in. Oh, yeah, I did hear about he that. He walked up to the police with his phone like this. Yeah. No, no, no. I take that back. I ain't going to stunt. He had his phone out, and his other arm was like on his side like this. They shot this nigga, bro. Killed him. The niggas wasn't... He didn't run at the niggas. He wasn't yelling. It wasn't no fight. He just started walking towards him like this and just got murdered, bro. This shit was wild, my nigga. What the fuck is going on in this bro, that fucking shit was world, wild, bro. bro? And the even crazier part was it's protocol. You know, with all this shit that's been going on, the officers have been trained to turn on their body cam the second they get out the car. So... The thing is, when you turn on your body cam, people don't notice, but it is always recording, basically. And it actually times 30 seconds before you hit the turn on button and it and it sends 
30 seconds before plus everything you recorded that's what it saves but it's low key been kind of rolling the whole time so like if i hit if i hit start recording right now it'll go back and record the other little 30 seconds before too so the 30 seconds before he hit the body cam is when he shot the nigga, G. He didn't even turn his body cam on until after he shot the nigga, bro. And the only reason we got body cam footage of him shooting the nigga is because he shot the nigga first, then turned his fucking body cam on, bro. And the body cam record 30 seconds before. So it caught his ass. Damn. That's you know crazy. Shit? This shit, wow, bro. R.I.P. Andre Hill. I don't see motherfuckers talking about this shit. I mean, yeah, I that ain't, ain't nobody protesting for that. I mean, it's a few people, man, but I'm just saying, like, bro, this one of the most blatant, just police shooting niggas. I've never seen it, bro. The dude is, like, he not fighting. Like, he wasn't, like, in no domestic situation. He wasn't arguing with his bitch. Nothing, bro. They just murked this nigga, G, for no reason. So that shit is wild, man. Like, yeah, that's... Bro, that's, 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 uh, that's very unacceptable. Bro, I can't even imagine, like, what his people, his family, everybody, his loved ones are going through for something just so weird. Bro, that's weird, bro. Bro, that shit crazy. I wonder man. what city, I wonder what city police or what state or whatever they were in. Hold on, let me look. I can if it's see. down south, is it if Columbus, it's fucking Ohio, G. That was in Columbus, Ohio. I've been out in Columbus, G. I that's know up how the street Columbus from is. Yeah, that's up the street from it. Yeah, I know how Columbus is, man. I, I don't put it past them. Yeah, I'm a little surprised it's Columbus, but I don't put it past them. But that's crazy. crazy. It says he was an invitee at the home. He wasn't an intruder. Oh, this is the other part. After he shot the nigga, the nigga laid on the ground struggling for five minutes and 11 seconds. The police called for an ambulance, but never attempted any life-saving action. So literally, he shot a nigga, realized, oh, shit, I shot a nigga by accident. And the nigga don't have no gun or nothing. I just shot a nigga. He called like, hey, I shot somebody. Come get him. And then just sat there and watched the nigga just lay on the fucking ground bleeding the shit, bro. He got the right to kill motherfuckers whenever they want to, bro. That's crazy, bro. Like, this nigga ain't even try to... Damn, I fucked up. Let me CPR. Let me try to save him. Bro, they said five... He laid on the ground struggling for life for five minutes and 11 seconds. That's crazy, bro. They got the right to kill a motherfucker whenever they want to. So they they did a they did an investigation, and during the interview, the officer himself said that. Hold on, it was a woman. It was a woman that show. No, it was another woman police that was there. She did not shoot no bullets. So the other police that watched the shit happen said that she did not see any. Hold on, let me. What the fuck? Is, what, what, what she say, man? Hold on. She did not see any. Basically, she ain't see shit. She didn't see this nigga yell nothing. He didn't have no weapon. Like basically, in her mind, there was not even a problem. And then the part, the other police would have just start shooting the shit. That's and shit there was no. Problem. And there was no audible. Police, you know, the police also be like, it's the police, put your hands up. And then if you right. don't put your hands up, then they could do some shit to you. And they do some shit. They didn't even do that. They just shot the nigga. They didn't even announce themselves. They ain't telling nigga to put your hands down, but where your other hand they ain't no, no verbal commands were given. They just shot the nigga. Bro, so what did they do to the officer? Like they need something. Oh, so he to got be done fired. That, bro. I think he got fired already, or he stepped down or whatever. I mean, I don't know if they going, you know, charge the nigga with murder. You know how that shit, sometimes the family, they get a family. I'm sure they're going to get a family. I think, you know what I think, though, too, bro? Why a lot of the stuff ain't getting the traction that it's getting is because I don't think that shit going to be put on the news like that no more. I think I think because, you know, this white supremacy shit, you know, a lot of times they control a lot of this shit, bro. They don't want no more deaths about cops killing black motherfuckers on the news no more like that. They don't want that they shit. Get, they get tired of that shit. They not going to let that shit, like, destroy this country hey, well, we not finna i'm not finna let that shit go every time i see that shit we gonna speak on it every episode we gonna speak <laughs> on that shit and hey, we reposted we posted that shit and we talking about that shit anytime Facts. we come to anything y'all already know street certified news street certified podcast we talking about that shit no matter what we don't give a fuck about look y'all can take us down somewhere we hey, i'm gonna up. say z hey you got to come find me my nigga come holler at me 
Trust me, bro. Trust me, man. Trust me, man. Talk about talk about a clout chase, bro. I'm gonna be on live, nigga, with the FBI in my throat. You bitch ass niggas, nigga. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, nigga. You bitch ass nigga. Yeah. Nah, man. R.I.P. Man. Andre Hill. You know what I'm saying? That shit, here, man. Yeah, that shit's sad, man. You know, another black man gunned down, unarmed. And like I said, bro, this is more reason why we done already prepaid. You know what prepaid is, nigga? You ever had one of them prepaid MasterCards or something? Nigga, I done gave you $1,000 so that you could give me a card and tell me I can only spend 1000 Like, bitch, I already gave you the bread. Like, nigga, we done already prepaid for this ass whooping, G. We done already prepaid for this Capitol Hill bum rush, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and we ain't out here doing it, man. And these crazy people doing it over Trump and shit. MLK, we here, man. DM, man. A thousand of us, man. Let's go on up there. Man, hit the DMs, man. Hey, I'm dead ass, though. Like, but, and that's another thing, too. Like, I always, like, because I'm I'm sure, like, motherfuckers will see the episode or whatever and be like, man, y'all motherfuckers is just talking shit. Motherfuckers is just on the internet. Motherfuckers is just on the podcast. Like, y'all ain't really out there doing shit. What motherfuckers don't understand is, like, the power is in the people. I might got the idea, but without the people, I don't got no power. Nigga, I can't do shit by myself. My nigga Trig can't do shit by herself. But if we identify a problem and see the solution to the problem or at least see a path towards some sort of vision on correcting the problem, the only thing I could do is reach out. Now, if a thousand niggas show up and I don't show up, I'm a bitch-ass nigga. But it's only so much I can do by myself. So that's why I'm just saying that right now for anybody in the comments or anybody going to say, well, yo, fuck it. If you don't run up on Capitol Hill, then go do that shit by yourself. Then like, nah, nigga, it don't work. Hey, that way. You crazy. Wanna, when you go do it. If you try to run on Capitol Hill by yourself, you're going to get arrested. And it's going to be like, oh, I was just about to say that the, the motherfuckers that did it the other day. Yeah, they came together. You know they came together. If you try to do that shit by yourself, you just a crazy motherfucker who tried to climb in the building no and they gonna arrest your ass. No ass to get sniped before you get the line. They gonna arrest your ass or beat you up or something. But if you show up a thousand strong as a protest demonstration, as a I have the right through the Constitution to motherfucker demonstrate to walk in this motherfucker building, cause low key G Congress building that shit open to the public. So the only reason that motherfuckers was trying to stop them from coming in there is because they was on some rowdy shit. But for real, for real, you could just walk in most of the time. You see what I'm saying? They just, but nigga, if they could get rowdy, we could get rowdy. So like I said, man, a thousand motherfuckers want to pull up. Hey, uh, but I, I, I guarantee one thing. Though, let's now figure out a day and let's go get rowdy shit. Fuck it. We don't pre you know, hey, you know, you, RP Andre Hill. Hey, you know, after, after the other day, you know, security gonna be different than that motherfucker. Look, nigga, you gotta treat me the same way, bro. This ain't no, nah, nigga, this ain't that. Ain't you, you ain't changed no laws, cause that's what's finna happen, bro. These white folks finna do it a couple times, then they gonna make a law. And be like, oh, yeah, you no, know, no, if you do that, you going to jail. Cause they know, man, y'all setting a precedent. If a white motherfucker walked up in that bitch, protested, got got to go all through the chambers and put that shit on social media and show that, hey, nigga, I believe in my shit, nigga. I'll run up in the motherfucking Congress for my shit. If they get to do that and then go home to their family, if even one got to go home, and I know probably a hundred of them, a thousand of them got to go back home. Not all them people got arrested or shot or beat up. You know what I'm saying? Most of them motherfuckers got to go right back to the crib, got to go to motherfucker Roof Chris, and they can have a steak afterwards, like on some regular shit. Like, like got, life is got, got footage, got footage galore. Got footage galore, nigga. I was in that shit, nigga. We was going crazy, nigga. I busted the window. We did all that shit. Nothing happened to me. And then nothing right right happened. I just went home and got the kid. Nigga, I, hey, I need that. I need that in I my was life. Listening, I was listening to uh, CNN, right? I don't really do that shit, but because of this, I did. Right. And um, it was one person on there speaking, and they was like, you know, I believe everybody in there who came in there should get arrested. Whoever walks up in the Capitol Hill should get arrested. They got facial recognition in there. They should be able to facial recognize people and go get them all. You think they got something like that? Be able to facial facially recognize every last one of the motherfuckers to be able to arrest them all. That, yes, bro. You think they got it in there? Hell yeah, they got it. What they don't got is a nigga who gonna literally go one by one. And say, okay, facial recognize this motherfucker. Okay, that's him. Go get him. Facial recognize this motherfucker. Like, I don't think they got a motherfucker who could like make a list and send it out. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if the computer that's smart. The computer just if you put a face in, the computer a look for the name. But I don't know if the computer could like 
it like what if you could like put like what if you could like put a video you gotta have like a record or something i think i have like a record or something but it right. recognize you, you but like check I mean? this out because this would be crazy so what if like all the social media shit that's been showing to the people fighting and they could you could you could load all of that into the computer or into the program the program would catch every individual face in all of them videos and line them up like there was 500 individual different people in all of the videos that you sent us. Then they could send you a list of the names of all of them people off the facial recognition. That should be fucking scary, bro. Yeah, they, it, no, it's actually possible. It's actually possible for them to basically it, it'll take it'll take a long time for them to 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 depict every last one of them because they have to run. They have to zoom in and literally run facial recognition for millions, for millions, millions of people. You know, but they they got a basis though that they can do it, so they can run somebody's face through Washington D.C. first. So they're running through the Capitol, they're running through Chicago, they are run. You know what I'm saying? They got like they are running through the state, Illinois, or you know what I'm saying, Delaware. They like they are running for the whole state. Majority of them people probably stay out that fucking way anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, that's that's one thing that I was like, man, if they actually did use that, if they actually have that and they don't use that, they really don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like if oh, they have I see to, what you said. So you said chances are they got it, and if they don't use it, then low key they don't even care. But I know they don't care, and that's all I'm saying. That's why I want. Like you them. said, if it was us, motherfuckers would be. They trying to motherfucking for the riots that happen. They trying to take cameras and use. Facial but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like, like, like. How do I explain this? Like, hey, like, like, like you have brothers, right? Like growing up and shit. Yo, bro, yo, mama ever let your brother get away with some shit and you caught her? Letting yep. a different brother, like you caught your mama letting your other brother get away with some shit. Now she got to let you get away with it too, because you would have caught her. She might not let nobody else get away, but you like, no, I seen you. He was supposed to get in trouble. You let that nigga slide. You got to let me slide now too, or at least one time. Like that's what they owe us. Cause we just caught them. We just caught them not, bro. Do you know during all that Black Lives Matter shit when niggas was burning up Walmarts and Targets, bro, Trump, all the people was like, look, if y'all niggas bring that shit to the U.S. Capitol, we gonna tear your ass up. Bro, they mm. just brought it to the U.S. Capitol and ain't nobody get towed up. So we just caught you, nigga. We just caught you not killing motherfuckers for running up on the Capitol. So now we get to do it. You can't kill us now. You can't act like we doing some crazy shit now because y'all done did it. We just doing what y'all did yesterday. Literally yesterday, y'all did this shit. We doing it today. And they gonna barricade that's that no bitch. They gonna, if they find that's that shit out, bro, different. they gonna barricade. Or you they are barricade. wrong. They gonna barricade the fuck out that motherfucker. I'm Which telling you, you right know what I'm saying, bro? They can't treat like they literally can't, even though they want to, even though they probably got the right to. If they do, they instantly look wrong to the whole world, bro. The whole mm -hmm. nigga, I watch G. I be watching soccer and shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like the little Premier League in England, bro. Every game since like the summertime, bro. They start off with Black Lives Matter. Every single game, bro, they kneel. Both teams kneel on the field. You know, Americans was getting in trouble for kneeling for the on the sideline during the national. Bro, <laughs> both teams walk on the field and kneel down, put their fists up, and everybody just pray for Black Lives Matter, G, and then they play. And so, that's the biggest league in England, bro. Like, niggas, like, the world is watching. Damn, bro. The world is fucking watching, that's bro. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, that shit is what's up. watching. You know, the NBA recently been, uh, you know what I'm saying, doing some little tributes and shit, you know, um, 15 seconds uh, or 24 second backcourt, throwing the ball out of bounds, kneeling, you know what I'm saying, getting tributes and shit. So, um, and a lot of a lot of the NBA players as well, man, they've been protesting um, on social media, man. And um, I just, I'm just proud of the black, I just want to see a lot of the black millionaires, a lot of the black, you know, just the rich the people who got who actually faces are on TV, the people who got the outlet to be able to speak about this shit and like the people who can actually have the funds to help people create a better way. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. P. Diddy or Jay-Z or or LeBron James, you know what I'm saying? Like these people have the outlet and the money to create shit. And they're actually some of them are actually doing it, man. So I just want to salute those, you know, people who in the black community who got money, man, who you know, they've been taking care of business. Yeah, hey, like, like, hey, like us, you man, said, so. 
That's what's up, it, man. bro. All this shit been bringing us together, man. All yes, sir, man. I never together. seen it like this before, man. This is this is awesome, man. Black owned businesses, these people's getting checks from motherfucker. They don't even know where I seen some shit. Motherfucker, like, I don't know where. I got twenty thousand dollars. I don't know where it came from. It was like people just just been helping, bro. Like that's that's just some good that you know I see and uh, shit. COVID motherfuckers running up this year on COVID. So a lot of <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. Shout out my boy Derek Rose, man. He went down again, man. For real, what happened? It's over. Fucking, fucking knee went out of his ass again, man. Oh, the real, like the real deal. It ain't like a couple weeks. Man, that motherfucker injured, bro. He, he out done. for the season already. Shout out to my nigga Derek Rose, man. I pray for my boy, man. I'm I'm a real Chicago one. He a real Chicago one, man. I mean, love D Rose, man. No. It's just sad to see man. my boy down, man. Markel Folks went down for Orlando, bro. He just was out two years at the beginning of his career. Yeah. He just got a massive contract. With what, was it? What, hold on, but so D Rose hurt his knee. Like what? Like what was the exact thing that happened? They 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 doing tests. They just saying the sore. They they just saying he fell and hurt his knee. But they doing like they they haven't came back and said say if it's like an ACL tool. So he might be okay or, then. But. No one D rolls, man. Every time he fall down and go out, boys. It'd be hard. <laughs> It'd be hard, man. <laughs> man, shout It'd out D Rose, man. Hey, so yeah, so man. what happened with folks? Is it his arm again? No, it's his that motherfucker's going to the hole like this. And his knee just his leg, leg just went out on him. Just oh, went out. Man. I'm glad it ain't his arm again, bro. But you know, he just got these that massive contract he got this year yeah. with Orlando. That was yeah. dope because he was getting back into rare form. Bro, he was averaging like 15, 16. He was putting up good numbers. I was happy for just to see a black human being from what he came to to come to where he at right now. Yeah, they bro. say he, he was scared to shoot. What was he scared to shoot or something? His shit was like <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But no, he, he got his shit back in form. He was hitting the threes again. Like I was happy for him. I'm not even a big fan of him, but just to see that, you know, what he went through to be the number one pick of right. finally coming back. It's been four years. Yeah, you ain't no rookie no more. You know what I'm saying? But it's just sad, bro. But you know, shout out to everybody, man. Um, appreciate everybody, you know, tuning in and watching us, man. You know, I appreciate yeah, my boy Rex for giving me the chance and opportunity, bro, to be able to be a part of this beautiful uh podcast. Man, this, man. A, this, 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 we brothers, man. You said we doing this shit together, man. I ain't putting nobody on nothing, man. Now, oh, yeah, hey, he never wants no credit. That's why I love that nigga. Man. He never <laughs> wants no credit. Hey, man. hey it's your boy, That's man. Hey, Greg's El Guapo, man. Street Certified Podcast. Episode 25, man. With my nigga Trigger. Man, we out, man. Hey, shout out to everybody, man. All love, man. Don't forget Trigger 9100 on IG, man. Follow your boy. Street Certified Podcast. Never gonna stop. Never gonna end, man. Love you, boy. I love you too, my